Hey guys, I'm Clint Flair Woo, and I'm here to bring you another Division 2 build video, and today is a really, really special one, and that's because this is a never-ending Seeker Mine build. It is amazing, and I'm going to go through it step by step. It's took me a few weeks to get to where I am today in terms of this particular build, but it is amazing in PvE. Uh, I've not tested this in PvP, and to be honest, I'm staying as well away as pvp as possible because it is not fun in all honesty however for pve this is a superb build that synergizes perfectly let's go through this okay i'm going through the uh specialization first i'm running with demolitionist and i've only just started with this particular specialization i've, I've uh, gone for the survivalist initially now i've unlocked uh, demolitionist and i've chosen a few key attributes that will help with the build Okay, first and foremost is Fragmentation Grenade, uh, deals more damage, again causes targets to bleed. Okay, this one, Explosive Ordnance, which gives me 25% increased explosives damage, affects explosive grenades, yeah, I've got that, I'm, I'm demolitionist, skills and effects. Okay, I'm running Seeker Mines, so this will marry very well with this particular talent. And the other ones I've gone for so far is the 40mm grade acquisition, uh, the SMG and the LMG to get a 15% extra damage as well. Okay, so let's take a look at the build. Okay, the gear score is 494, so don't worry too much about the gear score. That's really uh, not relevant with this build. Um, this is a superb skill power build even though i've not invested that much into skill power the four three nine which is four offensive three defensive and nine utility uh, my skill power can be higher don't get me wrong however i don't need it we'll go through the gear and you'll understand why as i go through it step by step okay we'll go with the mask now the mask is the uh providence defense brand set um with 10 percent skill power 9% damage to elites, 335 skill power, and hard hitting, which is damage to elites of 15% buff. Onto the chest piece, it's an Alps Summer Armament chest piece. Uh, this gives me three little slots, which is really good. Uh, I get 10% cooldown reduction, 5% skill power, 476 skill power as the attribute, and 22,841 as the second attribute. And the key talent is destructive, plus 20% explosive damage and in terms of the mods uh, this is the mod these are the mods that help me get over the over the line in terms of activating the key uh skills and attributes on the build uh skill power 45 yeah it's not a lot but it gives me 371 turret skill power which is good uh, 167 hive skill power uh, the defensive protocol resilience mod is 3174 health 15 percent disorder resistance six percent blind death resistance the offensive mod slot is 1.5% weapon damage, 3% optimal range, and 1.5% critical range. Onto the holster, it is a Douglas and Harding holster. That gives me 5% accuracy. However, I'm using it for these two attributes. 21% cooldown reduction, which is key and definitely needed on this build. And capacitive, 20% skill duration. And the mod is 102 skill power with 1% increased shock duration and 3% increased kill XP. The knee pads, this is the bread and butter of the set. It's a China Light Industries Corporation that gives me 10% explosives damage, 12% cooldown reduction, and calculated. Kills from cover reduce skill cooldowns by 20%. You need uh, seven or more uh, utility uh, attributes for, to unlock this. This is worth its weight in gold because kill an enemy, and this will shave off 11 seconds per kill. Insane. And the offensive mod slot is 2.5% weapon damage, 2% optimal range. And the gloves. The gloves are the Alps Summit Armament. Again, I've got the 10% cooldown reduction, the 5% skill power, plus the major attribute, 229 skill power and destructive, plus 20% explosive damage. And the mod slot is 1% weapon damage, 1% shotgun critical hit chance, 2% uh, critical range. And finally, the backpack, it's the Aroldi Holdings uh, set that gives me 10% accuracy, uh, 11149 health, 369 skill power, but it's the talents why I'm rolling with this particular backpack. 20% explosive damage and this particular talent, skilled. 
Skill kills have a 25% chance to reset skill cooldowns. Insane. Not many people would roll with this, and that's because there is on the ropes if you're going for a hybrid uh, DPS build. If you're looking for a skill build, you look at uh, tech support, that'll give you extra damage, or terminate, terminate on your gloves to give you extra damage. However, this is absolutely top tier to give me more Seeker Mines more often. So that will in turn, over time, do me more damage. And the Utility Protocol Mod Slot is 105 skill power and 2.5% explosives damage. And there is a lot of explosive damage on the build already, so again, that helps to really push out as much damage as possible. Okay, we'll go for the weapons. Uh, the primary weapon is the Infantry MG5. Um, with the talent spike, headshot kills grant plus 25% skill damage for 10 seconds. So you get headshot kill, you get an extra bit of skill damage for your skill variants. Allegro for the extra rate of fire. And recharged. While equipped, skills deployed a full armor have 25% duration charges and ammo really good and this is good for my turret and it's good for my seeker mines as well and your mods uh, stability reload speed stability and stability because it's not so much doing damage with your primary weapon it's a case of making sure you're hitting as often as possible with your primary weapon which is more important on this build secondary is the black market t821 again uh, I'm running with an SMG up close and personal when I need to switch. I can do a little bit of damage with this particular weapon. Um, perpetuation, kills grant plus 5% skill duration. Ammo and charges the next skill used. Max, max stack is 10. Underused talent on many builds. I use it on nearly all my skill builds and it's really good. Bit of stability and in rhythm, while equipped, enemy kills have a 5% chance to refresh. Active skill cooldowns can occur once every 60 seconds. If you marry, marry that with skilled on your backpack, that's a 30% chance of getting your skill cooldowns refreshed. <laughs> it's awesome. It is really good. Talents, uh, mod sorry, on the Black Market T821. Accuracy, uh, rounds, crit it chance, and more crit it chance. Cool. In terms of my uh, pistol, the Nitro ER, I don't use this, but I'll show you anyway. Steady, steady handed. Extra and protected reload. Uh, optimal range and critic chance as the mods. Now we we'll go through the skills, the nitty gritty of the build. We will start with the turret. The turret has a 39.7 second cooldown. And again, what I say with all my skill builds, ignore that because half it, once you dismantle it, uh, I'd say again about 10 seconds before it's due to be expired, dismantle it, and that, tw that 39 seconds turns into 20 seconds and that's exactly what you need on this build is a really good cooldown to get your turret back in 20 seconds so duration of 144 seconds which is just about enough for me a uh, decent amount of health 126,332 and the damage as base damage is 7,000 in terms of the mods looking on, on the firing mechanism slot it's 13.1 percent damage uh, the housing slot is 14.9% cooldown reduction. And the multi-tool, that's 8.8% cooldown reduction. The key for this is I want to get as much cooldown as possible to make sure I can use this more and more often. And again, with that 20-second cooldown, if you just switch to your MG5 in cover, take enemies out, you will activate calculated, which is on your knee pads. That shaves off 20%. 20%, which is a huge number of cooldown. And again, that's 11 seconds. So you just take take an enemy down as soon as you pop this, and it goes down to 9 seconds. Take another one down, that's it, it's back again. Simple as that. It's back within seconds. Second skill is the Seeker Mines. Now, in the footage, you'll see I was using the extra mines with this as well, and that had a 51 second cooldown. I've shaven this off again with a new mod I've got, which is another 18.8% cooldown reduction. That gets it down to 34 seconds. Simple as that, 34 seconds. Calculated, that'll shave off 20 seconds again. Sorry, 20% again. And then we've got skilled on your backpack. There's a chance to get these back super quick. I mean, never-ending Seeker Mines and your turret, which is up consistently all the time. This is OP. 
Healing, again, I would not like healing. That's just the best mod that I have, unfortunately, for this uh, Seeker Mine. I, I would love, again, cooldown reduction or extra mines. And extra mines, as in the payload slot for, which is nice. And I've opted for the Cluster Seeker Mine. People, all I can say to you guys is if you choose a Seeker Mine, go for this option. The reason being, you will have various Seeker Mines flying around, taking down NPCs where it being hard, challenging, etc. Um, the key is, the more Seeker Mines you have, the more chance you've got taking more enemies down. If you've got one Seeker Mine, you'll take down one or two at a push. With this, are they going different directions? You can take enemies with not much health left or, or, or no armor left. You will rinse it. It's a decent amount of, of damage, well, at 187, 129. It classes as explosion damage. Again, That's there's a whole whack on this build as well. So, guys, Cluster Seeker Mine is a better option than your other Seeker Mines Airburst or Explosion. In all honesty, this is the best one to go for. Take a look at the stats. I mean, we've seen the gear talents. You've seen the weapon talents. Let's take a look at the nitty-gritty of the stats. Again, you are not doing much damage with this build, so don't worry about uh, DPS output. There's no crit chance you can see. Don't care. Not bothered. 25% crit chance. Again, sorry, crit damage. Again, not bothered. 85% headshot damage. Yes, I need that. MG, I want to aim for the headshots because of Spike, which is on your MG5. So aim for the headshots. And again, in terms of your offense, don't worry too much about it. LMG damage or weapons damage, don't worry about it. Uh, your armor, 175. You're a bit squishy. However, there's no healing on this build. Your Seekers work in tandem with your turret, as you can see. Now, with this skill power, um, Seeker Mine is 1910. I don't have better mods as yet. Guys, I'm sure that you do. You will have better Seeker Mine mods than I have, so you can make this build even more powerful. This is the foundation for you guys to work with, and it works a treat. The turret skill power, again, that's on one of the mods that I have, so my total skill power for turrets is 2336. Uh, everyone else is the generic 1910, which is the, the, the build. Um, so if you find Seeker Mine mods, if you find uh, Seeker Mine, um, again, uh, skill power mods that will... Eat, increase your capacity that will get you better mods better damage or extra mines whatever you want for the build it will pay dividends trust me so this build is not perfect but it's nine out of ten it's there or thereabouts so this gives you the foundation the idea to go away thinking shit i'm gonna craft this and put it together and absolutely wreck and have these skills for days as i like to call it Cooldown reduction of 43%. Again, it's really good. Again, you get your skills back all, all the time. You've got a turret, 20 seconds. You seek your mines, 34 seconds. Again, think of skilled, think of, think of calculated, and think of spike in terms of doing the more damage. They all synergize perfectly well, and this is an outstanding skill power hybrid that works an absolute treat. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the build. Uh, if you have, drop a like. If you want to see more Division content, please smash the subscribe button. And guys, I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.